Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Just to let you know that there is a brand new uh, NASA Assistant and NASA firmware for your DJI Phantom. Uh, basically, if you've got a NASA M as well, you can upgrade it uh, to 4.0.2, I think it was, or 4.02. Um, you know I was having problems with that geofencing where my uh, Phantom would hit the distance limit and then just kind of drift off and do its own thing and I could never get control so looks like finally they've brought out a new update so I'll uh, do a little video on that hopefully tomorrow if the weather's uh, better we will upgrade the uh, software uh, firmware and we will uh, see if it actually works this time uh, other things I've been up to as you can see I've got my Phantom here uh, and it's come up to Halloween now so I've got my Halloween mask and some uh, white bits of uh, cloth that I'm going to drape over it and we'll fly it around see if we can spook any people out. Uh, I've got my uh, ground station here, this is my old one, had this for a long time. Uh, not sure whether I'm going to use this uh, yet because uh, I do have my large ground station which is over there which is a 15 inch screen. Um, the reason I was doing this uh, ground station over again is because I've switched my TBS Discovery over to uh, the uh, UHF uh, controls. So you can see we've got Easy UHF here uh, by Immersion RC. So uh, that's 433 megahertz instead of 2.4. And then I'm going to use 2.4 for my video transmitter, which you can see here. And they're quite big um, antennas, as you can see. Here's a skew planer on the receiver. And then when you look at the skew planer of a uh, 5.8 gigahertz, that's a rather big difference between the two. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting out and flying that. Also with the TBS, uh, me and uh, another guy, uh, Stefan, on the uh, Phantom Group, we are working on a man mount for uh, putting brushless gimbals straight onto the front of your TBS, so you can have a ghetto TBS Pro. So, uh, yeah, still in development stages, 3D printing. Uh, this is just the first prototype, uh, so we'll be doing stuff with that. Uh, I've got a Tarek gimbal, got this second hand, again, off the Phantom page. Uh, my good friend Richard Shelton sent me a three and a three turn or three and a half turn uh, helic helic I can never say this helical uh, uh, receiver. Uh, so that's going to be good. That's for five point eight gigahertz. So I'm going to stick that on my uh, Fat Shark goggles over there, and uh, yeah, well, hopefully we should increase our range. That's just another two point four gigahertz uh, clover leaf. So yeah, got a new microphone again, second hand, absolute bargain. So I can do the voiceovers on the videos. Uh, oh yeah, this is a, a, a gimbal here that I'm thinking of using. Uh, we'll strip it down and this will be part of the TBS um, Ghetto, uh, Ghetto TBS camera system. So hopefully we can get that up and running as well. So uh, yeah, I think that's all there is to tell you about for now. My uh, 450 has been gutted. As you can see, I've took out the NASA M from it. And that is what is now inside the... Um, uh, TBS because it did have a NASA light in there. I've swapped that out for the NASA M because I have also put in DJI's IOSD inside there. So, yeah, I need to get out and do some long range flights with that. But I'm waiting for my um, Yagi antenna, uh, which will give me extremely long range uh, distance video. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, there's my easy UHF um, on the back of my Futaba T8FG Super. So we have that on the back of there, which is powered, and then we have this huge antenna for the 433 megahertz, which will be on there. So that will be coming up in a future video. Uh, and that's about it, really, for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll have plenty of new goodies coming up soon. See you later.